Hey, our friends, we're going to draw the Powerpuff Girls. All right, Hads, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You have something to draw and some paper in front of you. We're going to draw all three of the uh, Powerpuff Girls, right? Yes. What's their names again? Um, Bubbles. Bubbles is the blue one. Yeah. And then Buttercup. Buttercup. What color is she? Um, she is... Green. Green. <laughs> and then what's the main one? Um, Blossom. Blossom. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to draw? Yes. Okay. All right, heads, we're going to start with our paper horizontal, and that's so we can draw all three of them. They're going to be flying through the air in their power moves. Yeah. Okay. We're first going to start with Blossom. Okay. She's going to be in the middle, and we're going to draw an oval, and this is going to be for her head. So this is a good way to practice drawing the oval shape. Okay. So we're going to draw it about that about that size. And it's okay if it's a little wobbly. Yeah. We're gonna practice. We'll mm -hmm. smooth it out. There we go. Do you wanna give it a shot? Sure. And we're gonna start right here in the middle and then draw an oval that comes around up like that. Okay. Good. Oh, you did it. You did a great job. Okay, now let's draw her hair. So right in the middle, we're gonna draw an A shape, okay? It's towards the top, but in the middle. Good. And then off to the side, we're going to draw two lines that come off to the side. Okay, now from there, we're going to draw a little, another A shape, but we're going to curve it. See how it's pointed in? Mm -hmm. So we're going to start there and we'll curve in and then come back out. Good. And then we're going to do the same, but on the other side, pointing the other direction. Okay. Good, you did it. Okay, now let's connect the end of her hair all the way to the side of her head on both sides. Good, we did it. We're done. Just kidding. We, yeah, we have a lot more to do. <laughs> all right, let's draw her eyes next. And we're going to draw big circles in the middle of the, in well, on the side of her Their head. Their eyes are they're, huge. They're massive. They're the biggest eyes ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna draw one big eye on this side and we wanna get really close to the middle. So I'm gonna put, let me go put a point in here for you. And that's where we want, so we want it to touch there and then come out to the side. Okay. Good, good job. And then one on the other side, I'll draw mine too. Draw it around and then connect. It's massive. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw a big circle on the inside of each side of each eye. So here we go. Here's her first eye. So big circle. Good job. Okay, and then on this side, we're going to draw her other pupil. And it's going to be the same size, but we want it on the inside. So it looks like she's kind of cross-eyed. There we go. Good job. That's awesome. Okay, now inside of here, we're gonna draw one more circle, and this is for the light reflecting in our eye. Good, and then we'll do another one on this side. All right, now let's color in the inside circle, the medium one, the one in the middle, and then leave the inside, the small one, white. Mm. Good. All right, now let's draw her mouth, and it's just going to be a U shape in between her eyes. <laughs> and they don't have noses, so we're going to leave. We're not going to draw a nose. <laughs> okay, now let's draw her bow. So we're going to draw a big, it almost looks like bunny ears. We're going to draw one bunny ear that comes up and down, and then another one over here on this side, and we want to leave a gap in between. Good job. And then space out, and then start here. We're gonna draw our other bunny ear. It's her bow. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna connect in between for the middle of the bow. We did it, we finished Blossom. Well, we need to draw her body still. Yeah. Okay, let's draw that next. <laughs> so we're gonna draw, her, she's gonna have one leg up. So we're gonna draw an oval right here off to the side and below her head. Mm. So you can start right there and then draw a little oval up and down. Good, now let's draw her body. So we're gonna draw a line, connects there. 
Okay, and then we're going to draw another line next to her leg over here that comes down and it stops halfway. So we're, let's start right here right. and we'll go down to there. Good, and then we'll connect straight across right there. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw two lines that are smaller that come down further like that. This is going to be for a leg, so you can go right there down. Good. And then one right next to it. Perfect. And then we're going to draw her foot. Yeah, her foot. So draw <laughs> you that connects the bottom. Good. Okay, now let's put the details on her on her body. So she has a little black stripe. They all have black stripes that go across their body. So draw two lines. Good, and then let's color in between those. Now let's draw her shoes. So we're gonna draw one line that curves up like this over here on her leg. Good, and then we're gonna draw a line that curves down, a U shape, below it. And then we're gonna color in the bottom part, and this is her shoe. Now let's draw her shoe on the other side. So we're gonna draw the line that curves down. Good, and then we're gonna draw a hook or kind of a J shape on this side. Good, and then we'll color in the left side. Okay, now we need to draw her arms, right? Yes. All right, let's draw one arm aimed up like she's flying. So this arm's gonna come up. <laughs> Curve around and then back into her head. <laughs> it's on. Okay. Do you like it? It looks like it's coming out of her head, huh? <laughs> so we're going to start here. We'll come up here, right to there, and then we'll curve back down. So go up and then curve down. Good, and then round. <laughs> back down. Good. All right, now let's draw her arm on this side, and it's coming out of her head too. So we're going to start right here, and then we'll loop around and then back in. <laughs> <laughs> so we start we start right there, come out and then back in. Okay. Good. What is she missing? Um her It's behind hair. her. Yeah, it's her hair. So we're gonna draw right here we're gonna draw a J shape. So a J coming out right there and then comes down and curls up. Okay, now we're going to do a backwards J on this side, but we want it to look the same. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to connect from this line all the way over to here, but we're going to go behind her leg. So we're going to curve down like this, and then we're going to imagine it coming out the other side and then curving up and connecting. Cool. So we start right here. We can curve down to there. Good, and then on the other side, curve down to the same spot. Perfect, now let's draw, there's a little detail on her hair, so it looks like hair. 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 Perfect, we finished Blossom, give me five. Okay, who should we draw next? Um, bubbles or Buttercup? Bubbles. Bubbles, okay, let's draw Bubbles right here. <laughs> we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw her head, we're gonna do the same steps, but we're going to draw her head right here and it's going to be aimed down. Okay, so we're going to start here and we're going to draw a big oval. And we want it to kind of look about the same <laughs> size as, as Blossom. Here we go. It's kind of a different shape. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an egg. An egg shape. <laughs> so, so let's start there. I'll draw a big, big oval and you want it to be the same size as this head, okay? Okay. Good. Perfect, and then around. Perfect, you did it. Okay, now let's draw her hair next. So let's put a point right here, and put a point right there, and we're gonna draw her hair. So this is gonna be, she has blonde hair, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna curve to that, curve right to there, so do a little U shape. Good, and then we're gonna curve the other direction over here. 
Now let's draw her hair on the outside. She has, we'll draw a little C shape first. Okay, so your hair is gonna run into her hand. Mine's gonna be above her hand, that's okay. So you imagine it going behind uh, Blossom's um, arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next step, I'm gonna curve up like this. So let's connect this to her arm. And then we'll imagine it going behind her arm and coming up over here. Good, now we're gonna connect this side to that point. There's her ponytail. She's got one, one little piggy tail. Now on the other side, we're gonna draw a C shape because we can only see part of her ponytail, like that. So we can start right here, draw a big C shape over to the other side. Good, now let's draw her eyes. And she has really big eyes too. <laughs> we're gonna start right here and we're gonna go almost all the way down and cover up her whole entire head. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start right here and then we'll curve all the way down over to here. So we get a big curve for her eye. Good, okay, now we're gonna draw the other eye. So we're gonna draw a curve going this way. A little curve. Little curve. Yeah, good. Okay, now let's draw our pupils. So we're gonna draw another big curve inside, like that. I'm gonna draw a little bit bigger. And then on this side, we're gonna draw a big curve right here. Not a big curve. Oh, it's a little one. Yeah, compared to the other eyes. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so we'll start, start right here and then curve to there. Good, now inside, let's draw that small circle. And this circle, we're gonna leave white. And we'll do another one over here too. Awesome. Good, now let's color in the, her pupil. Good, what is she missing? Her smile. Yeah, let's draw the same smile, so little U shape. That. Good, okay, now let's draw her body. So we're gonna draw her, the oval for her leg first. So we'll draw an oval about the same size as the other one. So we can draw that right here, a big oval that's about that same size. She has one leg up too. Oh good, I like it, fancy oval. <laughs> let's draw her body next, so we're gonna draw a curve. Curves into it, the oval. Good, and then we're gonna draw a curve on this side. And then we're gonna connect that into her leg. Awesome, now we're gonna draw a C shape. This is gonna be her other leg that's straight, kinda like this one, but it's curved. So we're gonna start right there, and then draw a C to there. Good, now we're gonna curve back up and into her body. So we'll curve, we can make a little U shape to there first. If we're going too fast, what can our art friends do at home? Pause the video. Yes, you can pause the video and then we're gonna connect that to her body. All right, we did it. Okay, now let's add those details. So let's first add that stripe, the black stripe that's on our body, so a little curve. And then we'll draw another curve right under that and we're gonna go behind her leg. So we imagine it going behind her leg. Good, and then let's color that in. Now let's add the details on her feet, her shoes. So we're gonna curve up, just like we did on this one. Curve. Up, a little rainbow line. And then we're gonna do a U shape underneath it. And then we're gonna color in the bottom part of her shoe. Good, now let's do the same thing over here. Let's draw a U shape. And then a little J shape, a hook. Good, and then we'll color in the right side of her shoe. Okay. What is she missing now? Her arms. Yeah, let's draw her arms next. So we're gonna draw a crazy raindrop shape. 
coming out of her head. <laughs> so, draw right there, come back around to there. Good. And then we're going to draw another crazy raindrop shape over here on this side. <laughs> There's our other arm. You can, so you can start there, come around, and then end back in her head. Good, we finished her. What's her name again? Bubbles. Bubbles, yeah. Okay, now should we draw a buttercup? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the same. Over here, a lot of the same steps. We're going to draw her head first, and it's going to be an oval shape, just like we drew with the other two. So here we go. And we want it, her head to be the same size also. So we're going to draw a big oval like that. And I am have it tipped this way. See how this oval is straight across? This one's tipped down, and then this one's tipped the other direction. Okay, so we're going to start right here. You can draw an oval, her head over here. Okay. Like right here? Yeah, that's a good spot. Start there and then go all the way around. Draw a big oval. Good job. Keep going. You did it. Give me another five. Okay, let's first draw her hair like we did with the other two. So we're going to draw a little V right in the middle of her head. We could draw that little V right here, or upside down V, right? An A <laughs> shape. Okay, and then we're gonna connect all the way across to the other side. Good, and then connect on this side. Awesome, okay, now she has black hair, so let's color in her hair. <laughs> Good job, and now we're gonna draw the side, so a little curve out this side. She has a little hair sticking out the side. Good. And then we're going to curve back down. And then color that in. Now let's draw her hair on this side. We're going to curve out just like we did on this side. And then curve back in. Curve out. Out and then back down. Good. And then let's color that in too. Awesome. Now let's draw her eyes and she's going to be angry. We'll draw buttercup <laughs> angry. So we're going to draw right in the middle. Let's right below this A shape. Let's put two dots. Two right next dots. to each other. Okay. And then we're going to draw a hook or kind of a, a check mark. You see that? So we're going to draw down and then come back up to there, up to her hair. Good. And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to end closer. So right to, right to the middle. So go down a little bit and then up to here. Down. Yeah. All right, now let's draw our eyes. And she's angry, but we're going to draw a big eye that connects oh, to her yeah. eyebrow. Look at that. It's huge. <laughs> we'll start right there and then come up to there. So we draw a U shape in between there. Perfect. And then on this side, we're going to do the same. A little hook that comes down, connects to the side of her head. Yeah, good job. She looks really angry. All right, now let's draw our pupils. And they're big too, so we're going to draw a big circle, big U shape there. Good. Yeah, that's awesome. And then on this side, we're going to draw another one. It's really big. Good. Now let's do the same thing. Let's draw a little circle in the middle, and that's going to stay white. And we'll draw that on both sides. Good. And then color in the, the, the middle one. Awesome. Now, even though she's angry, she's still smiling, right? Yeah. So we're going to draw in the same U shape over here. <laughs> Good. And I drew my smile a little big. Yours is perfect. <laughs> okay. Now her body is going to look just like Bubbles body, except flipped and going the other direction. Mm -hmm. So let's draw her, her first leg that's up. So draw a big oval, big oval right here. Draw that. That's for her first leg. Good. Now we're going to draw this first, the first line we did for the body. So a curve that connects to her leg. And then we're going to draw another curve over here for this side of her body. 
Good, and then we'll connect that into our leg. Okay, and then we're gonna draw this, this leg, but going the other direction. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and curve it all the way around and go in. Awesome, and then come back up. So curve around and then back up to our body. <laughs> Good. Okay, now for the details, right? Mm -hmm. So that black stripe first. So we'll draw a little curve, U-shape, and then we'll draw another one right below it. Good, and one more. Oh, you know what? On this one, let's draw, let's draw it above. Okay. You have enough room there. Okay, good, and then let's color it in. Awesome, now let's try the details on our leg. So let's draw that rainbow line first, and then the U shape underneath, and then color the bottom. All right, now let's draw this foot. So U shape. Okay, and then let's draw a curve going this way. And then color the left side. Awesome, what's she missing? Um, her arms. Yeah, she's missing her arms too. So let's draw rainbow, crazy rainbow shape. <laughs> In her head. Oh yeah, coming out of her head. Okay, and then let's draw another rainbow shape. Not a rainbow shape, but a raindrop shape coming out on this side. Yes, and then back in. Heads, we did it! They turned out awesome, give me five. You know, my favorite part about drawing all three of them at the same time is we got to practice the same steps over and over again. Because mm -hmm. each of their bodies is pretty much the same, right? Yeah. And their eyes are pretty much the same. They just have different hair. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Yes. Should we color them? Yes. Okay, let's do it. We're going to use red, orange, pink, yellow, peach color, and green and blue. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Okay, let's do it right now. We did it, Hads, give me five. All three of them turned out amazing. Did you have fun? Yes. You promise? Yes. Which one's your favorite? Um, this. This one? <laughs> bubbles? Yeah. I think bubbles or buttercups, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys at home can pause the video so that you can match what we did with the colors. Then you wanna make sure that you don't forget to use the same color on their dress around their pupils so that you can, so you can see the color in their eyes. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Six. You're six years old? Mm -hmm. You did awesome on your drawing. Remember, it's not important that your drawings look exactly like ours or perfect, right? Yes. The most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. We hope you guys had a lot of fun too, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Well, are you being the Powerpuff Girl? Yes. Which one are you? Oh. Bubbles. <laughs>